two, one. I have a strong magnet in this car. Now I can push this car along by using another magnet. But what if I attach this magnet to the car like so? Will this work? Three, two, one. No. This is a similar setup to many numerous videos online. They appear to work, but I'd hate to break it to you. It's fake. And there's two reasons why it will never work. Now the first is Newton's third law. It's often quoted like this. For a reaction, there is an equal and opposite reaction. But a better way to say this is, if object A applies a force on object B, then object B applies an equal force on object A in the opposite direction. You can't have one without the other. If I push the car towards the left, then the car is pushing me towards the right. If I pull the car towards the left, then the car is pulling me to the right with the same force. If one increases one force, the other increases as well. Now back to my car. Let's call this magnet A. But since it's connected to the car, we can call all of that object A. Now, this magnet is B, but it's also connected to the car, so we can call that combined object B. So magnet A is pushing object B in that direction. But due to third law, magnet B is pushing object A in that direction. Now, both objects are in fact the same object, the car. And since these two forces end up acting on the same object in opposite directions, nothing happens. Now this is similar to the scene in the classic cartoon, The Roadrunner and Coyote. The fan is pushing air onto the sails forward but that means that the sail is pushing the air onto the fan backwards. But since the fan and the sail are both connected to the coyote, nothing happens. But there is another reason. The car is currently stationary. It has no kinetic energy. If a magnetic force were to be applied to the car, then it would accelerate, speed up. Its kinetic energy would be increasing energy appears to be created since we started with no kinetic energy to begin with. But that violates the conservation of energy. That energy cannot be created nor destroyed and thus makes this scenario of moving by itself impossible. I hope that has given you a better understanding of Newton's third law and not to believe everything you see online. Please like, share and subscribe and I value your support by buying me a coffee. My name is Paul from Physics High. Bye for now.